Hello everybody, this is Benita. I'm here to share with you an album. This is not a tutorial, just kind of an album reveal. So this album um, was made for one of my coworkers who got married last summer. And um, you'll see another video right after this one that was another wedding album that I made for another coworker's daughter that got married um, this summer. So I had to hold on to this one so I could use it to kind of reference the other one. So this is actually um, done from a tutorial from uh, Kathy Orta, Paper Phenomenon, her signature stories edition. They are um, incredible and they're a lot of work, but they're a lot of fun. So this is the wedding edition. And so um, the paper collection I used is from the Mambi sheets. And I believe I probably got this at um, Michael's. Whenever I buy paper now, I always buy two packs because um, with Kathy's stuff, it takes a lot of paper and I never want to be short. So this is this piece of paper that's on the front cover in the back was not included in that. It was just something I found that matched it. So um, I went ahead and, and grabbed that. So I'll kind of zoom in here if I can a little bit to kind of show you the flowers here. Um, you know, just flowers I think I got from Hobby Lobby that matched perfectly with that. I put them here in the bottom corner. And this is my favorite memories right here, which is kind of dark, too dark to see. And then we have some flowers right up here. So let me scan, pan back out here. This is a very large album, so it's going to be kind of, I'll do my best to kind of show this. And then I wrap my chipboard, so I don't always go ahead and put my, um, wrap my um, outside paper over my, um, spine because sometimes it cracks and uh, Kathy orders have a great video on how to make it not crack but I just left this one um, I did this so that's a, isn't that beautiful paper the foiled and then the back is just the same okay so this this album consists of six um, pages but there are six pages on steroids so um, here we go okay so I didn't make a whole lot of phonomats. Um, there's a lot of spaces I could continue to make more, but there'll be a lot of places for their um, photos. So on the inside front cover and back cover are just the standard um, pockets. And then here is a photo mat I made. And again, look at this, I cut out this paper to um, match that. So isn't that cool? And then here is just a photo layout for that. Okay, so here, let's go to page one. So this again, they are pages on steroids. I don't know if you can see this right here. Let me just pan in, and I won't have to show you this on every page. But these are pearls that um, I put on here. That was kind of a pain in the patooties, by the way. Okay, so, mm, shoot. I thought I had a photo right here, and I was gonna show you. Okay, so here is my first page. This is a pocket right here. These are cut out from SG, SVG files that are included with, um, the signature story wedding album. This is a pocket right here. You open this up. This is a pocket right here. Look at this, a double stack pocket right here. Here is another photo mat that I made. Look at that diamond ring right there. <laughs> and then it opens like this. Again, this is a double pocket. And then this is a pocket as well. Can you see that wedding cake right there? Isn't that cool? Let's see that a little bit closer up. Look at that. That's really cool. Again, these are cut with SVG files, and so it makes it really nice. Okay, so we'll open up page one. Again, this is just spectacular. These are pockets right here, and those are a viney leaf. I'll tell you about this in a minute, and here's the other side of that. This right here is um, just a little holder to... Um, put some more photos in and I have two photo mat layouts that go in there. This actually design right here is actually, and I don't know, it's hard to see because it's black, is actually from the travel one. I liked how that dipped down there. And then these, whoops, I think I have these in backwards. These go in like that. Not cute. Okay. This is the back um, of page one and just a photo spread there. This is attached to page one, and this is a group, nice, it's an envelope closure with a heart on it. Okay, that's page one. Page two, again, is they're just super spectacular. This opens up, and I'm gonna try to catch this in my um, camera, but it's gonna be hard because it's big. Um, this is a pocket right here. This is um, acetate on all these pockets you'll see. And it opens up, full spread, lots of rooms for photos. 
Again, each of them has that pocket right here. This pretty much lays flat. Um, I use a different binding system than Kathy does. It's similar. I do have a Benita's Basic YouTube video on how to make your the binding that I, system that I use. Um, there's not a lot of measurements on there because it refers to some of my tutorials I have, but really the basis of your spine is your strip will be four and a half inches wide and you score it at half inch increments and then it will be as tall as your book. So if your book is pages are six inches, then it would be six inches tall. So take a, take a look at my Benita's basic um, tutorial on that. Okay, so this opens up. Look at that. Cool. Mr. and Mrs. This opens up, and again, room for photos if you'd like. This is another pocket photo mat. These are some cool photo mats. Look at that heart right there. Isn't that cool? Acetate in there. Look at all this detail on that. This is just another place for photo mats. This is a big place for photos, or you can just leave it on there. You can do some writing and journaling on that around it. That would be super cool. Again, big page for photos. This is a really cool page. I'm not going to untie this. It's a kind of a gate, but there's acetate right here. But when you pull this out, this is a place for your photos. And then that just goes back inside there. And it just makes it look fancy. Again, here's another photo spread. We're moving on to page three. Look at all this, look at those hearts. Isn't that great? It does take a long time to cut these um, files with your Cricut, but it is so worth it. This opens up for my photo spread. Guess what? Here's another pocket. Kathy really thinks of about a lot of um, different storage places. I like to photo mine so my mother and my sister-in-law can see they do not live next to me, but also to remember where I put the place photos here. You don't have to do this. You can actually put paper, but I like to give them some choices so they don't always have to cover up the pretty paper. So again, here is another pocket right here. Uh, make sure that's down there. Okay, here we go. Look at this. this is another pocket right here. Another photo mat layout there. This one does have a on this one, I put it um, magnet there, but most of the stuff I do not have magnets on. This is just a really fun layout. These are just kind of an envelope um, envelope closure kind of, you know, you can put things in here and that, those will kind of fold them down, but not great. Look at this pocket. Again, this is acetate. And here's my photo. You can put photos in there. Not cool. Look at this cutout, bride and groom. So this opens up like this, and here's another part of a, you can just lay stuff inside there. Places for photos. So here's another page. This is page four. And these are pockets. Isn't that cool? You can just, the detail in this, you guys, I just want to show you the detail. I'm going to kind of scrunch up clothes here that's cut on the Cricut right there. Look at that. Isn't that great? A lot of fun to do. A lot of work, but a lot of fun. I huh, almost forgot my photo. It would be funny to give that photo away. Again, here's another pocket right here. Here is a pocket and here is another pocket. These open place for photos. Again, here's another pocket. Here's another pocket. Isn't that great? I, this is just incredible. So here, there's a big pocket here. There's a pocket here. It's so fun for them to explore where all the items, they, places they have to put photos. Then here's some places for photos. Here's another pocket with a little photo mat on it. Another great place for photoing, for photos. The back part of uh, page four. And look at this. Look at those butterflies. Isn't that great? Open this up. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? Again, this is a pocket. This is a pocket right here. And I just made a, a bigger um, photo map so they, they know it was a pocket that was in there. And this is the back of that. And they can, again, they can put a photo. Still able to put a, a photo right there. 
Now, the next page I'm going to show you is page five. And when I start Kathy Orta's, any of her signature stories, I've made um, her, I've made her travel one. I have cut out the camping one. I've made two wedding ones. I always start with page five and I'm going to show you why. Um, I put it in order one, two, three, four, five, but I actually start with the paper on this one. And this is one of the reasons I buy two um, pads of paper. It is actually a mirror image set of pages. So we first of all start out with our pockets here and a pocket here. And again, a place on the back of them for photos. And then there's also a pocket right here. But when you open this up, it opens up to a spread. And see, these are mirror images. So here's a pocket and here's the pocket. Now I'm going to have to, um, this is not going to all fit, but when I, when I, whoops, when I open this up, this is, there's a pocket here and a pocket here. See that mirror image. And when you open it again, there's once again, a mirror image of all that. So they each have a great, pretty good size thing in there. So I like to make that all match. Here's what's also cool. So here, this, this, these are flaps and we use a photo mat to actually hold them in place. So we're going to take those photo mats out and then these open up place for a photo down here and they open up. Look at those rings. Isn't that cool? Photo down here, but look at this. What I do do is I go through my photo, my paper when I first get it, and I think I'm going to make page five first. I go look for a really cool piece of paper that I can actually split in half, which is what I, which I did here, and then I actually add stuff in the side here, and then kind of build out from there. But I start with page five because sometimes it takes more paper than you have, or you're going to use the paper. Um, from your packet and you won't have like this paper to use in your other one or these two right here on the bigger get. So hopefully that makes um, sense. And right down here, I know you can't see it, but this right here says today is your day and I actually split that as well. Isn't that cool? So we're going to close these up. This is forever and always and then we close it. Isn't that cool? It's just, this is my favorite page, but it takes a lot of work and a lot of paper. This is the back of it. Again, places for photos um, or just beautiful paper until you run out of room. This page, um, this attachment to her page five is really cool. It's a matchbox. I did not tack it down. You typically would tack it down like a, a um, matchbox, but this page is, the paper is thick and it, I'm worried about it bending to get back in here. So let me show what this is. So this is like a matchbook and these are just little tabs that you can put photos behind. What I wanted to tell you is this one actually, the layout is actually from the travel signature story album because I like this thing on here. So I built, I took that from the travel one to put in here. They're intermixable, so they're really kind of cool. And this is the back of that. Now we come to our last page. Um, again, five is my favorite, but they all are just super beautiful. Again, we have that same basic uh, photo right here. This is actually a pocket as well right here. Open that up. Here's some place for photos. Look at this. Is that not gorgeous? That is also a pocket, and I have made a photo mat to go in there. And this, again, is acetate. That took a long time to um, cut on the Cricut and get that all out there, but it's beautiful. And then we've got some more pockets. This opens up and place for a photo. Pocket, open up, place for a photo. Again, you can put your photos here. And then this opens up. This, of course, is a pocket. Look at those hearts. There's so many details in here. It's just crazy. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite pages right here. You guys, I want to show you this. Oh my gosh. So these are little pockets. I'm going to kind of come in to close to show you. So these are little pockets. And this is a pocket down here as well. But what I did on my Cricut, I went and found um, this tag and I kind of maneuvered it a little bit. I made this tag to actually put in here and then... Um, it that had a heart in there, so it kind of matches that. Isn't that cool? That is like really cool. This was a very cool page. 
And then this is the attachment. Whoops, let me just pop right back out there. Okay. This gets opened up. And again, this is another kind of a mirror image page. Again, um, places for photos here. These are double, this is pockets right here. And I put these cool little um, photo mats in there. You open it up. And again, you can just lay your photos in here and close that all up. So that is really a cool piece. And then we come to the back. And this actually right here is a, um, holds a photo as well. Just cut right into that. That's one of Kathy Orta's signature um, moves is she will cut uh, into her paper. And um, so you can put a photo, just hang a photo in there. And then we come to our back page. Again, this is just um, a pocket with a photo mat in there. And there we go. So this was a very cool album. I'm very excited um, to give this to her and hopefully she'll enjoy it for a long time. Check out Kathy Order. She's a paper phenomenal. She's got some great, great tutorials. Um, all of her stuff is really uh, fun and um, she's very energetic and uh, you'll really enjoy her. So there you go. Thank you very much.